Yes, our next yes. deputant is David Lepofsky. It's just a figment of your imagination. I have no, no relation to the other guy named David Lepofsky uh -huh. you had to put up with an hour ago. Um, you have three minutes when you're ready. Not including that not clever joke. Inasmuch as we applaud the excellent staff report on e-scooters, we are severely concerned at staff's approach to designing bike lanes. We ask that you amend the motion before you today to include two requirements. Number one, that accessibility for people and safety for people with disabilities be embedded as a key central requirement for any reforms to Eglinton. And second, that no bike path ever be built on the sidewalk at sidewalk level. I'm gonna email you all a link to an eight minute video that uh, I co-created, yeah, blind video producer, uh, last fall that shows that the bike lane built on, bike path built on the sidewalk on Eglinton near Avenue Road is dangerous, treacherous, I dare say terrifying for us blind people. You, if you're sighted, can tell that you are on a bike path or if you're on the safe part of the sidewalk. We blind people can't even tell that there's a bike path to be avoided. We don't know from one block to the next whether some genius at City Hall, staff level somewhere, decided, oh, let's put a bike path there or not. And even if we know it's there, we have no way to know. Staff claims on CBC to the contrary. We have no way to know if we're on the safe part or the terrifying dangerous part. They say, oh, there's a tactile cane detectable line or they've even got a better design to do that elsewhere, which I've seen it is no better. Now, all I get to say is, who do you think knows more about how to walk safely with a, a white cane? Blind people who walk with white canes or city staff who don't? The fact of the matter is, even if there was a cane detectable line there that you could rely on, that you could say, oh, no, that's just not a crappy sidewalk that's seized up or something, that's actually some marker, even if that were so, and it's not. We have no way to know that we're on the safe side and not the dangerous side. They've made Eglinton a terrifying place. And I've been walking on that street since I was a kid. And I've been blind since I was a young adult. We deserve better. Stop making it worse. And I th just, because I only have Final three thoughts. minutes, I'm just going to conclude by telling you, there is such a disconnect between our lives and what the city staff are doing that when we went public and this video got all over the media within a day, city staff were on the radio just saying, oh, well, we, we care about accessibility. And not one of them involved in this has ever reached out to us to maybe learn if we know a little bit more than them about, I don't know, living with blindness on Eglinton. Thank you. Thank you for your deputation. Are there questions of the deputant? Okay, there's no questions for you. Thank, Thank you, you for joining. Uh, okay, sure. uh, you're lucky. He almost he almost stood up and left there. Thus, uh, you're lucky you got squeaked in. Okay, Councilor Prusa, three uh, minutes. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, David, I just I just want to know from you since I, we have you in front of the committee today, on a scale of one to ten, how well have we done over the last forty years on on these issues, in your view? We're getting worse. This city is getting a harder to be a harder city to navigate. I, I'm sorry to say, I'm a really proud Canadian, but it, it's and a proud Torontonian, but we are getting worse. And to walk out last fall and find out that somebody built a sidewalk, on a, a bike path on a sidewalk, like, please. And I gotta tell you, when we went public with this video, all the feedback from people we know, from strangers approaching me on the street, 
from cyclists. They all agree this is remarkably stupid. It, it, it actually flows into two more questions, but I'm sure. not going to ask sure. them. No, 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 I'm not going to ask them because I, I, I just don't want to. I know there's a lot of folks um, uh, but when on you, here. But when but you get the you link that. to the video, watch it, please. It's, it's, it's going to come to you all by email from me today. Just take the eight minutes and you'll get the point. Thanks so much. No additional questions confirming? Last call? Okay, thank you, David. Now we're definitely done.